EA Games. Challenge everything. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger. Ron, look! to the burrow, Harry. Did any of you ever give a thought of how worried I'd be? Benzenti, no note, cargo! Oh, Mum, I... Out of my mind with worry. Did you care? Never, as long as I've lived. But, Mum... Now get outside and start denoming. I've had it up to here with all of you. Except you, of course, Harry. I'm not cross with you. You ready to do a bit of denoming then, Harry? Well, I'm not sure, Ron. I've been with Dursley so much this summer, I'm a little rusty. Try Flipendo on the magical measurer. That's Dad's magical measure. Try casting for Pendo at it. The Pendo! Once you learn some second year magic, you'll be able to ring the bell. Try casting for Pendo on the glass jar, Harry. See if you can smash it. The Pendo! That was truly smashing, Harry. Oh, oh. you know, Harry, you can cast Flipendo on a whole bunch of things lying around the burrow. And if you do, you might be surprised at what you find. Beans will come in handy at Hogwarts. <laughs> there are gnomes everywhere. Look, Ugh. they're up in the rafters. Okay, Harry, target the little pests and flipendo them off the rafter.
Harry, we'd like you to meet our washing machine. Huh? Dad tried charming it. Now it's anything but charming. <sighs> this is a good opportunity to practice some dueling. Dueling? And keep moving round to the class for Pender when the door is open. Don't be scared, Harry. It won't bite. It only damage you. Yours, like you need a chocolate frog. Here you go. You have to knock the frog out before you can catch it. Right, let's go throw some gnomes. We need to get a move on with the denoming. Mum will go mad if she finds any gnomes left in the garden. Look! There's one over there! What you have to do is flipendo them until they're dazed and confused. Wow! I've got to try this! Then you grab hold of them and spin them round. <laughs> and chuck them out of the garden. Nice one, Fred! That went miles! Never beat my record. Flipendo! Oh. Excellent! Do better than that, Harry. Excellent! It 
It's late, boys. Time for bed. Big day tomorrow. Diagon Alley, then platform nine and three quarters. For someone who's never denomed before, you've done an excellent job, Harry. Almost as good as Gilderoy Lockhart himself. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Don't forget, pick them up and spin them round and chuck them out the garden. <laughs> Right on target. <laughs> My first wizard card. Mrs. Weasley woke them all early the following Wednesday. She took a flower pot off the kitchen mantelpiece and everyone grabbed a handful of flu powder. Harry had never travelled by flu powder before and when he scattered the powder into the fireplace, he immediately swallowed a lot of hot ash. <coughs> it felt as though he was being sucked down a giant plug hole. Harry tried to keep his eyes open, but the whirling made him feel sick. He closed his eyes, wishing it would stop, and then... He fell. This doesn't look like Diagon Alley. Lucius and Draco Malfoy. Touch nothing, Draco. Ah, Mr. Borgin. Mr. Malfoy, what a pleasure to see you again. The Ministry of Magic is conducting more raids, and I have a few more uh, items like this at home that might embarrass me. Items? that you are willing to sell. Correct. I'll expect you tomorrow at the manor to pick them up. Good day. Good day, Mr. Malfoy.
could use this to find my way out. Maybe if I try creeping up on that thing. Get in there. Get in that way.
Can't get through there. You'd only gone one fireplace too far. I was frantic with worry. What's wrong, Ginny? You don't look very happy. The flue powder went wrong, and I dropped all my things in the fireplace as I passed. Would you like me to go and look for them? That's so kind of you, Harry, but I think you'll need to get your things first. What was on your school list? A copy of the standard book of spells, grade two, from Flourish and Blots, and a new potion vial from Mole Peppers. Well, let's all go to Flourish and Blots then. Oh, and you might need this. It fell into the heart when you used the flu powder. A silver sickle. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Come on, Harry. Let's go to Flourish and Blots. I knew your father, you know, a fine wizard and a genuine loss. I'd like to buy that, please. The Standard Book of Spells, Grade 2, by Miranda Goshawk. Ah, now that would be one sickle. Thank you. With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand and cast it when the spell is ready. But be careful. Don't overpower your spells or you could end up in a spot of trouble. Thanks very much.
Harry, did you get your book? Yes, Mrs. Weasley. I can't wait to try out what I've learned. Where did you lose your things, Ginny? I think I dropped my brass scales when I passed the fireplace in the magical menagerie. My new quill definitely fell into the back of Gamble and Japes. And I'm sure I saw Hagrid when I lost my speller tape, so I think that must be in the Leaky Cauldron. Hmm. Magical menagerie, Gamble and Japes and the Leaky Cauldron. Gossip. We really appreciate this, Harry. It is so kind of you to do this for Ginny. Yes, Harry. Thanks so much. Now go on, show us what you can do with your new spells. Bet you can smash those barrels over there. Harry, <laughs> let go of the spell earlier. A silver sickle. Excuse me, how much is this potion vial? It costs eight sickles. I need to find more sickles to pay for my potion vial. The door's locked. Ginny said her brass scales were in here somewhere. I'm feeding the stock. Out. Go away and stop bothering me. I guess I've got to get past that old grouch to get Ginny's scales. If I'm careful, I should be able to creep past him. Dusty. Firecraft needs unlocking.
brass scales. Somewhere. I wonder if the noise of a star might distract him. Whoever's out there, I'll find you. Just stay out of his way. Did you know that Guild War Lockhart's favorite color is lilac and that his secret ambition is to rid the world of evil and market his own range of hair care products? Can't get in that way. Ginny said I could find her speller tape in here. Let's head down! Let's down! Ow!
I saw Mrs. Weasley looking for you. Hope you ain't been creeping round that nocturne alley. Terrible place. You best stay away. We thought we'd lost you for good, Potter. This is Gamble and James, the Wizarding Joke Shop. I wonder where Ginny's quill is. How much are our stew pellets? Four sickles for a pack of ten.
No one, try the magical measurer. You'll need to cast a perfect flippendo spell to make the pointer hit the top. Flippendo! Oh. If you want to get the magical measurer to the top, you'll need to cast a perfect flippendo spell on it. To do that, build up the power on your wand for as long as you dare, and then cast the spell just before it overpowers. Hello there, Harry. I found all your things, Ginny. Oh, Harry, you're so wonderful. No, really, it was nothing. You're such a kind boy, Harry. You really deserve a famous witches and wizards card. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Gilderoy Lockhart signing copies of his latest book in Flourish and Blots. We were thinking of going in to see him. Would you like to come with us, Harry? Oh, uh, well, okay then. Thanks. Let's go inside. Lockhart's inside the shop right now, Harry. Oh, I'm so looking forward to seeing him. Can't get through there. Excuse me, how much is this potion vial? It costs eight sickles. Can't get through there. Lockhart's inside the shop right now, Harry. Oh, I'm so looking forward to seeing him. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Great Scott! Is that... 
It is. It's Harry Potter! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that this term, I will be taking up the post of Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Bet you loved that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter! You've got yourself a girlfriend. I suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. Here, girl, take this one. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. Let me give you some coaching, Harry. Fame is a fickle friend, and I would encourage you to be careful how you play the fame game, so to speak. Be sparing with your public appearances at first, and watch the company you keep. Harry! Well, Harry! I remember the time the when I was the second Mr. Train! Mr. Train! Yes! Calls. The Hogwarts Express the left five minutes ago! Oh, press, no! What are we going to do? Progress. Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. It wasn't until I went and was and was and was seriously wrong. missing for three weeks. Okay. It's our only chance of getting to school on time. I've been captured by trolls in the wilds of Stocks and Tees that I managed to regain my former prominent position as the world's most popular wizard. Harry? Oh. I'll meet you in the courtyard outside the leaky cauldron.